All right, so in today's video, we are going to use the lab that's titled Cracking a Linux, Linux Password Using John the Ripper. And let's get started. So let's start the Kali Linux machine. I was trying last night. It was a uh, user certify for some reason wasn't working. And actually, <clears throat> I don't know if we can I will see uh, let's see Hyper-V Hyper-V manager launch that in the background and see if we can use our, our Linux uh, Kali Linux machine to do that I believe we'll have to have this password.txt files from somewhere <coughs> what's happening here I'm gonna pause the video here oh so basically what happens is that it's shutting down my lost labs um, virtual machine probably that's what it is it's only 70 seconds I'm gonna wait for it let's pause the video all right, so I have my Linux machine on. So let's follow the instruction on the right side. Unfortunately, you cannot see them. Uh, so let's start. From the left sidebar, click the terminal. That is terminal icon right there. And unshadow. So it wants me to type in certain commands in shadow. Let's see. Again, make sure that these commands they are ah, see that's. I make so many typos okay so two things about Linux uh, it's case sensitive second one is that if uh, a command runs successfully it won't show a confirmation you will only see an error message if what you type did not run successfully so let's go Try the next one, John word list is equal to documents. Ah, see, again, I'm missing slash. I was like, why there is no crack dot lst space. pwd.txt so what I am guessing is that the first uh, document.crack.lst has all the like num like combinations and it's gonna try to brute force against the second one that's pwd.txt let's press enter it's saying hash type okay so that is the standard procedure I can see on the right side here maybe you can see it too session completed session completed so that is the right one so let's start the final one that is John show <coughs> documents slash pwd dot txt and one password hash crack zero left and I think the password is going to be u certify that's I believe let's see does it say that so what it's saying is this combines the password hash I, I can show you like that so what's saying is that 
this command actually combines the password hash stored in the Etsy shadow file with the contents of the Etsy password file. The second command basically uses a custom dictionary file. Oh, I was right. So this is the custom dictionary file and a pre-captured captured unshadowed password file. Oh, so that was a unshadowed file. It wasn't the actual password file. The actual password file is this one. Oh, it combined and got into this one. So I was right. Okay, nice. And the third one is basically saying display the password if got cracked in the previous step. If the password hash got cracked, you'll observe the username and password are displayed in the format as username, password, root. So root is the username, you certify is the password. Am I guessing it right? Let's see. Pseudo ls. Now, what command can we write? Okay, I'm gonna pause video here. So you can see we are root. So that root is fine. It says root. All I have to do is verify it is the you certify is the password. One way to do is we I tried sudo it didn't work. Who am I basically? I don't know if it's gonna work in Linux as well. It does. Okay, uh, it's I use it on C command prompt. So let's try what. Uh, let's see. Can I do this? Log out. Yeah. And can I root? You certify, and I'm logged in, right? I don't know. Doesn't look like. Oh, I am. Okay, that's good. All right, so that was the password. So we guessed or cracked it right. Let's submit it. Evaluate. Evaluating answer and task is complete. Record my record my answer and let's wrap this video here i hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one